Ah, good evening everyone. Farmer Ben speaking. Farmer Connor with Miracle. Rio Pumpkin. Eeyore and Winston. So, you might have seen the title of this video. Name the Baby Alpaca is coming on live tonight. So, not live, sorry. Facebook post so we can do a poll. We want to do a poll to get everyone's... Uh, opinion on what it should be so we've got our five most popular names included in this poll and what we need you to do when we post it straight after this live video is we need you to give a reaction to your favorite name uh, so that we can name our alpaca officially name our baby alpaca give me a comment if you can hear me okay uh, if i'm transmitting loud and clear it's always a worry make sure my uh, signal's okay We've got a little bit of a change up in the pens that I wanted to show you tonight. It'll just be a quick live just to sh run you through exactly what we're up to. Uh, it's been a busy day. Very, very busy. Um, and we're just about finished up for the night. So let me have a look, see if everyone can hear me okay. Uh, Sherry's watching from the Villages, Florida. Margaret says hi, Ben and Connor. Hello. Um, loud and clear, Debbie says. That's what we need. Loads of love hearts coming up, thank you. That's obviously transmitting absolutely fine. So, let's do it. Baby names are most popular. Socks, Domino, Onyx, we have Boots, and one more seaside. Socks, Domino, Boots. No. Can't remember the last one. It's coming on straight after this facebook live though so keep an eye on our facebook page and you can vote on there leave the reaction that's next to the name that you like that's the easiest way to count it it's the fairest way to do it and loads of people have uh well loads of people have voted on these polls in the past and it always works brilliantly uh, and it lets everyone see what's in the lead kerry says can hear loud and clear perfect got the new mic on it seems to work in a treat uh, if you've been watching on live cam or on twitch from this camera up here You'll have seen myself and Farmer Connor trying to hilariously film a video. Um, it was a... Uh, we got there in the end, I think. I think. Uh, as far as subscribers. So you'll see the link in above. If you'd like to support the page, you can do that way. You get extra extra perks, live videos, extra content, uh, supporters badges, and you get added to the supporters group. So it's really worthwhile doing. Uh, the community is growing really fast, so that's brilliant. Uh, we really appreciate everyone that's joined us. So... Our baby is doing fantastic. See, can you try and get him up and bring him over? So I don't want to move too far in case I move uh, a loose signal. So we're going to just bring him over here because I want you to see his little markings because I think this might sway you on what his name should be. Um, give him a little pick up. Oh no, he's coming over, he's coming over. So he's doing brilliant. He's doing absolutely brilliant. He has a tiny white marking on his head. Here, pal. Of course he goes with his back towards us. See if he'll turn around, see? There we go. Ah, there we go. No, no, you're all right. So, little spotted nose. Little spotted nose. Little white fringe. Oh, he's going in for a soup from mum. He's a hungry little boy. Um, he has got little distinctive markings on his nose and on his head. So he's got a white mark on there. He's also got white shoes on or socks or boots. So that's where they, those names come from. You can maybe see in there. Uh, I see a star's party is activated, so I can see that today, folks. Um, I know some of the supporters were worried that I couldn't see that, but I can see that today. Um, so mum's name, we only, need a, we only need a name for baby. Mum's overwhelming majority uh, suggestion was Betty. So mum is going to be named after Betty White. She's obviously white and she was born on, uh, she gave birth on Betty White's 100th birthday. So another popular name was Alan for our male alpaca, our little boy alpaca, our baby. Uh, we're not going to include that because Alan was Betty White's husband. So it wouldn't really go well for Betty's son, would it? So we're not going to include Alan in that. It just doesn't fit right, I don't think. Um... So yeah, I think I think that I think we're making the right decision. I think that's a pretty good idea. Farmer Joe's decided to join us. 
Looking forward to getting the poll up, seeing what you all think, because I think they're all brilliant names that we've got, uh, and they'll all suit them really well. So keep an eye on our Facebook page, and we'll have that up as soon as possible. Here we have Toffee and Lilibet. So Lilibet, you know, was over at LP, and she wasn't doing too well. Somehow she'd got herself wrapped up in some barbed wire. Uh, we're not really sure how that happened. Uh, but she got stuck on the floor wrapped in barbed wire and when I got to her she was a bit weak and she'd got very stressed uh, this was a couple of weeks ago now so we put her in her own pen with toffee over at LP which is our winter storage for those of you who aren't aware um, and she's doing great now she's actually growing she's put on a little bit of weight um, and mum's doing a good job of looking after her so she's in her special baby care unit at the minute uh, in her polytunnel so again you can see it on her twitch cam so yeah, we're a bit more, bit happier with her now. I wasn't just as happy with her a couple of weeks ago. I was quite worried actually, just when she'd got so weak. Uh, but alpacas do kind of react really badly to stress. So because she'd got wrapped in the wire, I have no idea where it's came from. Because she got wrapped in the wire and there was actually a little bit stuck in her foot, which would have been painful, uh, that did stress her out and it's took her a wee while to recover. But we've got there, I think. She's eating away quite happily. Mum's more than content. So yeah, it's nice to have a little twin pair of babies. This baby is camera shy tonight, big style. Um, so a recap for everyone who's just joining us. I see the numbers still climbing. This is Betty. Betty is our mum alpaca. She was named by everyone and she was named by Carol Haynes, who was our first receiver in America of one of our parcels. So Betty is mum. We need a name for baby. Uh, they will be going live on facebook or they will be going they will be posted on facebook for a poll straight after this live video so keep an eye on it farmer fee was making that uh making that post so we will be on straight after here make sure you give us your opinion make sure we name him right so that he gets a perfect little uh perfect little name that matches his personality he was getting moved pen earlier on and he was flying about he was so excited uh he's got plenty of energy he's obviously getting loads of milk from mum his favourite um, hobby is actually to suck off mum, basically. He's constantly at it. Uh, we've just had a stars party, everyone. Thank you. Congratulations. <coughs> oh, bless me. Sees it. So allergic to the animals. <laughs> the animal hair. Uh, so, Denise says socks for baby from North Wales. So, yep, yeah, that could be an option. Socks is definitely on there. I know that. That would suit him well. Boots would suit him well. Um, and I think Farmer Fee was maybe talking about uh, Boop as well for Betty and Boop. Uh, that would be a cute wee name for him, wouldn't it? So on to what we've been up to today. We have a smaller but more uh, accessible pen for the donkeys. So that they can actually get in and out of, the, of their outdoor area now. So they've got a nice grass paddock and here they come. Here come Rio and uh, Pumpkin and Winston playing as per usual. Constantly up to no good. Oh, here's here's mums to supervise. Now, now, cut it out. Enough. Thank you. So everyone's in a good mood. It's been a lovely day today and everyone is in a fantastic mood. Thank you for all the stars coming through, everyone. There's loads coming through tonight. Stars party activated, which is great for the stream. Uh, that gets a little bonus from Facebook. So here we have a wandering miracle. She's been in our supporters video that we've been trying to record. Uh, it's something different, which I'm not used to, but hopefully we made a good job of it. But Miracle's the star of the show, as well she should be. So, this is our new maternity pen. Uh, we've got Vera back because she's an older girl. She's got twins inside her. Uh, we wanted to get her loused. We wanted to give her a bit of a clip. Uh, we got her tidied up. She's had a little haircut. Round about here, you couldn't see her eyes before, but she's looking fantastic now. Very, very pretty, I think, Vera. We have two pygmy goats, and this one here is a lot further lo along as the rest. So she's been on the wander finding a male before she was supposed to. This one here with the X on her back, she has. Do you, uh, see what's what she got? She got twins. Who's got twins? Yeah, she's got twins, yeah. So twins, Jew, and when you see her walking, you can see that bag. So she is imminent. She's not far away at all. She's preparing to have them. 
She's actually in fantastic condition, so we're really, really happy with her. Uh, she's doing brilliantly. So she is due really soon. Could be any time, really. So she's she's back home. She's in the polytunnel. She's got plenty of bedding. We can feed her up in her own little trough um, and give her the best possible chance. This was not planned. She wasn't supposed to go this early, but that's animals for you. This one's probably a few weeks off, but we're better having having her back, keeping an eye on her. Uh, and making sure everything's okay so that is the plan what have we been up to today uh, we had all of our pregnant mums in the polytunnel in here new Bela Hay up today as well uh, all of them in here and myself, Farmer Joe and Farmer Connor uh, fluked and wormed them so that's a really important thing for their health this is their last fluke and worm before they give birth in end of March, beginning of April uh, so that's their health check done their feet were checked their bums were clipped their eyes were clipped if anything needed done uh, they were done today so we don't have to handle them too close to get given birth because it does stress them out and we don't want to do that uh, so yeah been very busy very productive I'm pleased with their new setup I'm sure you'll agree it looks very well uh, look at that see as soon as we walk away our new baby comes out and wanders around Let's have a look and see if we can get a little close up. It does actually react if I... <whistles> That's normally how I got him to react earlier on. I was trying to get him some photos. Start trying to get some photos of him. You can actually see his little white, little white boots or socks that he's got on here. So we don't often have that with our babies. They're normally brown because Dad Boris is brown. Uh, they do normally have a little white fringe because Boris has that as well. And it's amazing how that comes through. Uh, but the, the socks or the boots are a bit different. Uh, one of the names that I really like to tell... Oh, here he goes, winding up the donkeys. This is them starting. A baby alpaca is always so annoying. It's the biggest wind-up that you can possibly get. Um, and they're a bit endless, to be honest. They wind everything up, chase everything around the pens, and do, do it completely for their own amusement. Uh, but I'm really happy with how he's doing. He's feeding brilliantly. Mum's doing excellent. Um, so the last piece of the puzzle is we just need a name for him so there we go there's a little close up he's got a little white chin little white moustache and beard white socks and his wee white bit on his head so I wanted to come live today and just let you see him let you see what his little personality is like which you can see there he's winding everything up um, and just give you a better idea so you knew uh, what what would be a suitable name for him one of the names that I do like for him is Domino because he's got little white dots on him uh, it's kind of like a Domino obviously the other way around colour wise but Domino is a cool name I think so um, that's my vote I never get my way so don't worry don't worry when you're voting you vote for what you want that's just my I think I'll be voting for Domino so I'll put my uh, I'll put my hat in the ring for that one Lillian says Betty White for mum and Alan Alpaca for baby we're not going to go for Alan on this one, Lillian, because Alan was Betty White's husband, and this is obviously Betty's son, so it doesn't really go too well. It's kind of a mismatch. Uh, so we're going to go for something a wee bit different, I think. Uh, a nice fun name, nice light-hearted name. So we're going to we're going to put the options up after this live video. You're absolutely amazing for the amount of stars that you're sending through. It's incredibly generous. Our supporters group is growing so fast. I'm actually doing a supporters-only stream tomorrow. Uh, so there'll be loads of questions in there. I'll fill everyone in on what's going on in the farm uh, and what we've got planned for lamb and etc. So if you'd like to see that live, you can always uh, support the page, subscribe to the page, and you'll be added straight into a supporters group. Christy sent 200 stars. Thank you, Christy. Um, Bonnie sees Betty in Boots. So Boots is on there. Uh, Wendy likes Domino. Uh, Dan has sent 200 stars. Thank you for that. Still think Joe is... Still think Joe for camera shy kid. Yeah, he is so camera shy. He's not a fan of it at all. Hope everyone remember not to comment. It needs to be a reaction button. That's true. That's a good point. So we need uh, for to vote for the name, you need to hit your reaction. So you just hover over the like button or you hold down the like button and all the reactions will pop up above that and hit the corresponding react button or corresponding emotion to what name that you like. That's the best way to do it. Don't comment on it, folks. I mean, you can comment. Let everyone know what you voted for. Um, but the comments won't be counted. It's only the reactions that will be counted. So that's important to remember. 
Uh, but it's always an exciting day when you get a nice new name for a little baby who is, to be perfectly honest, he's standing, he's sitting chewing his cud. Can you see him? You see his little mouth moving? To be perfectly honest, he's, he's had very little from us. He's had very little input from us. Uh, Mum's doing such a good job. All we've done is give him a nice fresh bed. Mum's some food and water um, and she's she's doing the rest so that is an absolute success story so let's hope it carries on that way uh, Lisa says Domino's a great name Betty and Boots is a good name uh, Shelley says do you harvest alpacas fur the alpacas get shorn every year so yes we always have alpaca fleeces if you are interested in some you can always message the page and we can sort you out um, Tracy sent 50 stars thank you Tracy Catherine says, love the animals getting scanned yesterday, amazing to watch. Yeah, if you didn't catch that yesterday, folks, all of our sheep and goats got scanned to see how many babies had in their belly, uh, much the same as a pregnant lady would have. Uh, it's very, very exciting. Love that day of the year. Uh, and actually, it was really successful, so we're, we're quite delighted with that. Uh, it couldn't really have gone much better, to be honest. Uh, also, for those of you who are regular watchers to the stream but didn't catch it yesterday, Phantom, who is our Phantom pregnancy goat over at LP, she saved Miracle's life by licking her dry uh, when her mum wasn't interested in her. She is actually pregnant with twins, which is the success story of the day or of the year so far. That is, we're absolutely delighted with uh, Phantom being in, in kid with twins. So that's going to be really exciting when, when she's due to kid. Uh, we can't wait for that. Should be end of March, beginning of April, probably more likely into April. I think for Phantom A lot of people were also asking About five bellies If she's in kid again She is and she should be having twins So that is Also great news She'll get a little bit of a break Because having five bellies in her baby for five months That was a lot of work for her She'd done brilliant, bless her But um, it was a lot of work for her Little Vera actually There's a little story about Vera and Myself and Farmer Connor were we're clipping her earlier. Vera's a farm favourite, isn't she? Everyone loves Vera. She's a great mum. She's always got loads of milk. And she normally has twins, which she does have this year. See her little haircut on her face? She looks very pretty, doesn't she? She's giving you a wee show of her teeth, a little smile. So I was cutting around her eyes, and you're always obviously really, really careful uh, when you're cutting around their eyes, just to, to make sure you don't you don't take an eye out. That's the last thing that we're wanting. But when I was cutting round about her eyes, I was being really careful and she just sat the whole time with her eyes closed. She was so well behaved. She just had her eyes closed. She was really gentle. She didn't move a muscle and she let me get in there and get everything out of the way of her eyes. So she doesn't get anything stuck in her eyes, doesn't get any wool in her eyes uh, and ends up developing a sore eye or getting an eye infection. So good news story all round. She's been loused today. Um, she's in in the warm uh, and she's going to get plenty of cake and she's going to get spoiled until she gives birth because she deserves it. She's a cracker. She's one of our favourites here. Um, Sue Swan says, please show us Miracle. Where is she? See you, shall we? She just went back in. So Miracle's just went back in with Hope. She's been out for the last half hour wandering about. Uh, I think she is going to end up becoming like a dog, to be honest, because she just follows around the farm. If she's ever out, she just follows around the farm. Uh, she's, she's, She is more like a dog as a yeah. goat, isn't she? Um... Kate says, what will happen to Phantom's fake bag of milk? Will it be replaced by regular? I don't know that yet, Kate, because I've never had a goat that's had a Phantom pregnancy before. We've never had one in the farm. I think it's pretty unusual. So I'm hoping so. I'm hoping that's the case, that it's just going to be replaced with an actual bag of milk and she'll be able to raise, raise them no problem. It is a bit of a concern, I'm not going to lie. I don't know what the reaction's going to be. Uh, I don't know if it's going to remain like water like it is just now or whether actual proper milk's going to come through so keep your fingers crossed for that um and put the twitch tv um dulscon link on there if you do want to have a have a wee look on twitch and watch our 24 7 stream of the alpacas and the donkeys uh kathy says oh vera she's a lovely lady yes she is um i like the name fanta better than phantom well that's do you know what fanta might be a good name for her mightn't it I'm not, to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of Phantom. Phantom might be the better name for her. So yeah, I th Christine, you're onto something there. I like that. Uh, Linda says, five kids were too many for five bellies, but she did so well. She done brilliantly. Uh, unfortunately, two were stillborn if you missed the video. But uh, 
three of them survived and three of them are still going about the farm so that was a success story uh, we'll never complain about triplets there is quite a few triplets due again this year um, Cheryl says so happy for Phantom She's, she deserves to be a mum yes she does um, Terry says Ben we got a new baby what did we get Terry am I missing something possibly um, Sue Swan says oh thank you not sure what for but you're welcome Sue uh, Tracy sent 50 stars thank you Tracy uh, Deanne says you're all wonderful th farmers thank you Deanne right folks I'm going to be back on later in the week uh, it was just a quick stream to update you on what's happening with the baby alpaca's name if you're just tuning in remember the post for the baby alpaca's name is going to be put on you can vote with your reactions to the post it's normally really really popular make sure you get your opinion in there so you're not disappointed um, so the reactions to the post will be listed next to a name it'll all make sense when you see the post it's really easy to vote make sure you get your votes in make sure the right name comes for him he's a little cracker and we'd like a really lovely name for him what's he up to now he's sitting chilling you can see the size of him he's absolutely tiny so Lilibet's still tiny she's still a baby and look at the size just a perfect little man uh, so yeah we're delighted over the moon with them so we will jump off stream we've had a busy day we're ready to go and put our feet up get some dinner aren't we see ready um, exhausted but we've had fun so we'll see you later on in the week for a stream supporters I will see you tomorrow night uh, for the exclusive stream if you'd like to support the stream that would be fantastic I will see you tomorrow you'll be automatically added into the supporters group on Facebook which is a private group uh, the community is growing every day so amazing for sending so many stars incredibly generous as usual and we'll catch you on the next stream from Farmer Ben and Farmer Connor See you later. Have a great night.